Welcome to On the Prowl. I'm your host, Nyla Moore, and with me today is the coach of the Destrehan Wildcats, Coach Steven Robichaux. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Thanks, Nyla. Appreciate it. Coming up on today's show, Coach Robichaux will break down last week's playoff game against the John Eric Patriots, and we will get Coach to look ahead at this week's playoff game against Landry Walker. So, Coach, how do you feel about defeating John Eric for the second time this season? Well, I'm really excited. Uh, I thought our kids played extremely well, uh, especially defensively. Uh, you know, they, they were playing real well um, through the playoffs, and uh, for us to go and only give up 14 points was, was big for our defense. And offensively, you know, we moved the ball well and ended up scoring 21. So it was a good effort. Our kids played well, and uh, we're still playing, and, uh, and we got a chance to play in the semifinals. So a lot of excitement, a lot of hard work. Our coaches, our kids have done a tremendous job. So we're excited to be here. So we'll see what happens Friday night. Do you feel that your team's first half could have been a little better? Well, I think it was kind of a combination of, we, we, you know, we, we, the thing that was good about it was, you know, we gave up some big plays, but uh, we ended up holding them the field goal. So I thought that was huge for us. Uh, we give up the first the halfback pass, and the guy gets into about the seven-yard line, and we give up a field goal, and then we throw the interception uh, deep in there in uh, our territory, and then uh, we end up causing uh, making them go ahead and kick a field goal again. So I think holding them the six points there early, even though it was a bad situation for us, end up helping us uh, in winning the football game. Does it feel rewarding to make it to the semifinals with such victories in past games? You know, there's no doubt that, uh, you know, this team, when, when, you know, we had to replace uh, nine on defense and, and didn't know how good we could be. I thought we could be pretty good on offense and, and, and the guys have been playing real well. But uh, just a lot of question marks going into the year and, uh, you know, if, I were to if someone would have predicted the semifinals, I would have kind of thought they were crazy. But you know what? Our kids just got better. and Coach Scott has done a phenomenal job with our defense, and, and they just got better every week, got better every week. And, and we've been giving up a lot of yards, but we've been making plays when we had to, and that's the key. And, uh, you know, we're just very – I think a lot of times that, you know, it's the program that helps you win games, and I think that's what's happening right now. Kids believing in themselves, believing in what they're doing, and, and, and just getting it done, and, and we're, we're able to, 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 to still be playing. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. We thought special teams had to be big for us. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, I think we had a penalty here, but also we started in their territory, so it worked out pretty good for them. Terrell Bennett doing a good job on their receivers. We thought, we, you know, we knew that they were going to try to throw the ball because they've been having a lot of success. Our kids came up, they played hard. Uh, <clears throat> Jacoby Cable with a good play there. Passing the flats right here, Rob Hall gets to it real quickly and ends up causing an incomplete pass. So you can see our guys are playing fast, they're playing hard, they're playing real gritty, and, and that's what you need to do to win playoff games. Phenomenal play here by a sophomore running back. Just a great effort to see the guys downfield blocking. And just John does the rest. What a great play by John. Making Clark with a big run, a big rush here. Jay Stroud ends up getting the quarterback down. We knew we had to contain him to be good, get it done. Great play for a first down here by another sophomore, Quentin Tover. Tariq Rogers doing a good job right here along with Rob Hall, making a good play on the running back. Cohen got hurt, so JR comes in, hits Mike Young on a nice pass. How do you think your defense played against John Eric's explosive offense? Uh, you know, I, I referred to that earlier. I, I thought we played tremendously. You know, to only give up a six right there and right before at halftime was tremendous. Uh, they have been playing well. Uh, they were scoring points, they were moving the football, they were throwing the ball a lot better than they did the first time we played them. Uh, so they were kind of had us worried, but uh, our guy stepped up, uh, had a good pass rush on the quarterback, uh, got him to move around a little bit, and our DBs did a great job. And uh, you know, my hat's off, like I said, the coach Scott who did a tremendous job with those guys all week. Do you feel that J.R. Blood and Emery had a good connection through the game and made some big plays? Uh, there's no doubt, you know, uh, J.R. Blood is, is a special, special person and athlete. You know, he, he's, he's, a, he's a guy that studies the game. He's a guy that really gets into football. Uh, that, I've never seen that before from a sophomore quarterback. Uh, he's just, 
He just knows the game. He understands the game, and he's a winner. And he just, you know, he gets it done. John's the same way. John's a guy that, that loves football. Uh, he's extremely talented. And, and to, to be able to have those two sophomores, along with Quentin Tobar, Carl Lewis, and a bunch of other guys, to be able to get those guys for the next two years is going to be really fun. But, uh, but uh, I, I think there's a connection there. You know, they've been playing together a long time, and, uh, and, and they've won a lot of games together. So uh, hopefully they can continue to do that. What do you think was your main obstacle for your team during the first half? Well, I think that we, what we need to do is, is their defense is tremendous. They have a lot of big physical guys that can run on defense. And, and uh, we kind of talked about just being patient and just letting things come to you and, and don't try to force things. Uh, we knew that they were going to stop us at times because uh, their defense was so good. Uh, and and our, our, our Coach Boyne had done a great job with our guys preparing, hey, we're not going to get a bunch of yards. We're not going to better move the ball consistently, he says. But let's just, you know, take our shot and do what we need to do to be successful. And the kids did that. They didn't get rattled. They, they, they had some bad plays, but they continued to fight and continue to play hard and, and they end up getting it figured out. Let's take a look at the second half highlights. You know, we challenged our defense to come out and, you know, it was 7-6 uh, at the time. Come out and play hard and continue to play hard, and, and they did that. Terrell Vanette with a nice play there. Kobe Cage coming up from his cornerback position, does a good job, but I think the key is the number of people around the ball. That's what we had to do. We have to do that again this Friday night. Nice third down play right there where we stuffed the middle. Go for it on fourth down. It's a big play for us. We get the ball out. Big turnover. And I think that was a that was a key play for us. Great pass for JR to Quentin Toba. That little sophomore comes through and finishes it off with a great run. Kind of puts it up from seven, uh, 14 to 6 here. Gives a little bit of a cushion. Great play right there by uh, about interior defensive line, Bryce Siena. As Jay Stroud getting outside, we're making clock, um, getting to the ball real quick. We thought that was the key tonight. Make sure that we can get the, uh, their quickness, combat their quickness. And a middle return set up here with Justin. Does a good job. Christian Moser with a big run. Late in the fourth, third quarter, we want to get, make sure that we get another touchdown to go up. Couldn't quite get done, but we flipped the field, so that was big for us. Jabril Fields in the middle line, playing real well. Nice play, that's what we need to do this week. Burnett and then uh, Champ Craven over the top. Did a good job getting the ball out. Justin with another good return. Punt return, we thought that was a key for us. We needed to win the turn of uh, the special teams battle. Christian with a big hard run up the middle. Christian again with a move, he slips right here. Gets his way down, and John punches it in for his third touchdown of the night. Middle of the fourth quarter, we go up 21 to, to 14. He has a playmaking, comes off of his man, gets underneath the other route with three minutes to go and makes a big play for us. Ends up sealing the win. Great job, John, right here, staying in bounds. Fans are getting a little excited. It's a good thing. <laughs> How could you express your feelings upon John Emery scoring all three touchdowns against the Patriots? Well, it, you know, John scored all three, but he had a lot of help from a lot of good guys. You know, our offensive line did a good job blocking. Uh, JR threw the ball well to him, but uh, 
you know, there's so many things that go into uh, him scoring touchdowns, and uh, and he'll be the first to tell you, you know, it's not all him. Uh, he's a phenomenal player. He did a great job, but uh, but he can't do it without the offensive line, the receivers blocking, and uh, and Jr. throwing him the ball or handing him the ball. So uh, he's a he's a he's a very quiet. He's a quiet kid. He's a kid that uh, that enjoys football, but also he's very humbled and. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I think he would say the same thing about it. It's not just him, it's everybody involved. So it's Coach Boyne calling the right plays and, and getting it done, and, and it's, it's a team effort. In an interview with River Parish Sports, you stated that your defense was key to winning the game. How are these strategies used to win? Well, you know, we, we thought that we had to get as many people around the ball as possible, try to frustrate the quarterback. Uh, he, he's a good player. He's, he's been throwing the ball real well lately, but he, he's still a sophomore. So. We thought we had to get pressure on him, in which we did. Uh, they made some good plays, obviously, but uh, you know, uh, late in the game when we had to make a play, he threw it in interception. So, uh, you know, that was a big part of our game plan. Make sure we pressure him, and we had to stabilize the, the offensive line. You know, uh, they have some good running backs. Their quarterback does a great job running the ball. So we we needed to play real well up front, and and I think we won the, uh, that battle up front. And I think that helped us win the football game. What could you say about Macon Clark's game-winning interception? Well, you know, for the second week in a row, he's just been the right person in the right place at the right time. And, uh, you know, uh, same thing in the Mandeville game where he made a big two-point conversion to win the game. You know, he was there at the end of the game. He kind of had his man in a flat. He came off of him and got underneath the number uh, one receiver. Uh, and uh, the guy threw the ball, ended up looked like he threw it right at him. But uh, it's just because he came off of his guy and just, just made a tremendous play. And, uh, you know, uh, Coach... Uh, uh, Jericho Nelson works with those guys tremendously, Coach Harding, uh, and then they understand that, you know, coaching those guys up, they do a, f a phenomenal job, and, and uh, that's what he's coached to do, and he did it, and it was just a great play. Thanks, Coach. Coming up, we will get Coach to look ahead to this week's playoff game against Landry Walker. We'll be right back. Welcome back to On the Prowl. I'm your host, Nyla Moore. What are your main concerns about this week's playoff game against the Landry Walker Buccaneers as they come off a 61-21 win against Parkway? And that's pretty much our concern. <laughs> <laughs> They've been averaging close to 50 points a game. Uh, their offensive skill uh, personnel is probably as good as you're ever going to see on a high school football team. Uh, the quarterback, starting with the quarterback, he's, he's six foot four, 230 pounds. He runs the ball real well. Uh, he's a Mississippi State commit. He, he's a, he's going to play in the SEC, so you know he's a good player. They guys are, have a junior um, receiver that's six five. Uh, he's already committed to Alabama. Uh, there's a, a smaller guy inside that's five foot eight. That's a tremendous receiver who's committed to West Virginia, who does a tremendous job. And then they got a uh, a running back that that that's as fast as anybody we're going to face. That's probably probably close to a Puka Williams at Hornbill, but. Uh, they have, they have all the, the skilled guys that are just tremendous. Uh, they score a lot of points. Uh, they, they move the ball well. Uh, they can score from any point on the field. So uh, it, it's a big concern for us. That's probably our biggest concern. Uh, hopefully our offense can move the ball. Hopefully our offense can score. And uh, hopefully we can get enough guys around the ball, uh, carriers, to be able to make some plays to kind of slow them down. You're not going to completely stop them. Nobody's done that. Uh, but hopefully you can slow them down and, and have a chance to win at the end of the game. With your statements about the Buccaneers having five-star recruits all over, how can your team prepare for such a game? 
Well, we we got to understand that you know we can't beat them one on one. Uh, Coach Scott has got a plan where we're gonna you know have to try to get at least three or four guys to, around the ball in every play, and, and that's what we need to do. We need to play fast. We need to play our technique, and we need to get around the ball and hopefully that they'll make some mistakes and and make them drive the length of the field instead of giving up the big plays. And I think that's gonna be what we need to do to be successful. Always a pleasure talking to you, Coach. Thank you, Nyla. I appreciate it. And that will do it for this edition of On the Prowl. For updates on Press Play Productions, make sure to check out our website at PressToPlay.tv. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Press to Play for behind-the-scenes pictures of the Press Play team. I'm your host, Nyla Moore. Thanks for watching. <laughs>